All right, so let's take a quick look at what a Tech 2 even looks like, okay? So that you can kind of like, oh, I get it. I now know how to do Tech 2. So you can see I'm at the front page of mytech2s.com. I'm going to go right here to the Tech 2s page, okay? That opens up. And these are all the Tech 2s for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. They're all in one place. Uh, sixth graders can work on whatever Tech 2s they want. You know, like, you, you're not limited by what grade you're in. Okay, so... Uh, I do start off with this, hey, you're so, so excited to get working, but make sure you check in, and there is a link for the check-in if in case you didn't do it on the front page when you first got to class. I remind you one more time before you get working on the Tech 2s. And then if we are in remote learning, look for any Tech 2 with a little house symbol on it. That means you can do it from home. Most of them can be adapted so that they do work in remote learning. Um, this is not correct right here. I'm going to change that in a little bit, so that might say something different for you because I've changed the point system. Okay, so then, of course, you are right now in the first Tech 2, Tech 2, so, so that's not going to apply to what we're doing here. Okay, so let's take a look at something like here, here, Digital Art Level 1. Maybe that's what you want to do first. Remember, it's your choice. Now, you have to start with Level 1, but you, it's your choice, whichever one of these ones you want to do. So let's say we want to do Digital Art, so we open that up, or at least we're curious about Digital Art. All right, then we have this little, uh, don't forget about if you're remote learning, there's adaptation videos at the bottom of this. Then every Tech 2 has a description, so you can kind of see, is this really going to be my cup of tea or not? So it says, create three digital art pieces to be displayed in the X-Tech room for one semester. I'm like, okay, that sounds good to me. I'm into digital art, so you keep going. Then you want to watch this little video here. Now this video, let me just press play here, like a one minute 49. All right, hello students, and what? And that's just me telling you again what this Tech 2 is about and what the challenge to earn the Tech 2 is all about. And they're usually less than two minutes long. So you're, you're okay there. So if you're still good with this, keep going. If this is not what you want, go back to the Tech 2s and go pick something that's more in your liking. Okay. So uh, let's just review. To earn this Tech 2, you got to do a fruit painting. you got to do two more pieces of digital art. And each art must have three layers to it. Three, where's my three? Three layers to it. And you got to export it from Procreate as a JPEG image and then upload it to the folder below and create a course, <coughs> excuse me, create a proof of work video. So you're like, oh, okay, I agree with all that. I don't mind doing the fruit painting plus two more. Looks like I can choose whatever I want to paint for my other two. Uh, let's see what we're going to need for this. We're going to need an iPad. Boom, I got an iPad. We're going to need a stylus. It's optional, but I got a stylus here. And then the Procreate app which I know is on here because I can see it. Boom, there's Procreate. Okay, so everything's working fine. I've got everything. If you don't have what you need, you can't really do the Tech 2, right? So stop here and go either get it from me or figure it out, or go do a different Tech 2 if you don't have the right equipment. All right, let's see. Oh, there's, there's a little photo for me. It's like, never pick at the end of a stylus. You will wreck it, so leave it alone. That's probably I had to put up there because I got sick of losing so many styluses to kids that I just kept picking at them. Okay, so uh, let's get right into it. So see, if we want to do this, then you can just start watching these videos here, how to, painting your first video. So you just press play. Now look, at it is 13 Okay, so long. students, um, welcome. So it's going to take you through step by step how to do this painting. Now let's pretend you're in something that you're actually familiar with. So maybe you've done Procreate before. In that case, you could kind of fast forward through the video and find the parts that talk about making the fruit bowl, because maybe you've never painted a fruit bowl, but you understand how Procreate works. This goes with all the Tech 2s. The videos, I hate saying this, but the videos are sort of optional. Now, that there's a, there's a warning to that, because sometimes I have students sit down in a studio and they have no idea what's going on. They just start touching things. Well, that could wreck things, right? Or they sit down to the sewing machine. Don't turn on a sewing machine unless you know how it works because that little needle might come and get you. So I, I'm asking to trust you. If you know what's going on, then you could fast forward or skip a video. If you don't, then you need to watch the video. Please don't come to me and say, Mr. Flick, I don't know what this Tech 2 is about or I don't know how to do this or maybe I come around and I see that you're not doing it correctly and I'll be like, did you watch any of the videos? And you'll be like, uh, no. And, and that's, that's going to be a problem in my class. Okay, so I'm trying to give you independence, but at the same time give you responsibility. So you have the independence to be able to skip if you are familiar with the subject and what's about to be taught. 
Uh, if you're not, then you need to watch them and get them done. So anyhow, you just uh, watch the video. That'll take you through the step-by-step. -step. Then there's usually some other videos I throw in here if you want to go deeper into this, how to use Procreate, the essentials, and then that's how it all goes, okay? If there are some books you should read, they should be in here. Here's some cool channels from people about how they use Procreate. And then here are always the student examples. Like, oh, okay, this is what students have been making. This is really cool. This is great. Oh, there's the fruit bowl everybody talks about. Uh, more fruit bowls, more cool things. And then, of course, here's the instructions for remote learning. And then somewhere on the page are usually is the how to turn it in right here, the digital art turn in. Sometimes it's at the bottom, sometimes in the middle, but it's always a gray button like that, and that's going to link you to the turn in folder. Does that make sense? So essentially, like if I was watching this um, one about how to do it, you're going to watch on the video, and then you're going to be like, okay, pause it, and then do what it tells you to do. Then watch a little bit more, pause it, and then do it. So you, you're pausing and, and playing as you do it uh, step by step. Of course, you have headphones, so you can really listen. If you don't understand a step, you just rewind it and watch it again. Uh, this is a Tech 2 that only has one tutorial video. Like the sewing video, I think has the sewing Tech 2 has 13 tutorial videos because they're shorter. They're not like this 13 minute one. They are like little one minute ones because they're done in segments because you got to do each little step at a time to understand how the sewing machine works. But essentially, uh, that is how a Tech 2 works.